experiments using the International Space Station as a test bed for those. Um, but some scientific experiments aboard the space station also benefit life here on Earth. So one experiment from the European Space Agency is bringing home samples from immune cell activation. That's the name of the experiment. In this experiment, immune cells were modified with nanovectors that are intended to carry therapeutic agents that specifically to their target cells. Results could help develop new therapies targeting central nervous system diseases and skin cancers, such as melanoma. The Dragon spacecraft is now more than 750 meters away from the space station. You can kind of see it as that white dot right at the center of your screen uh, drifting away from the space station. This is the fourth flight of this cargo spacecraft. It had previously uh, supported SpaceX's 27th commercial resupply services mission. This spacecraft is now approaching 950 meters away from the International Space Station, and we've got some good views of the spacecraft on your screen. There's about a minute remaining until it reaches its next milestone, which is exiting the approach ellipsoid. Uh, it's exiting the neighborhood of the International Space Station. Dragon now over 1,000 meters away from the International Space Station. The spacecraft has exited the approach ellipsoid.
station, Houston on space to ground two. Dragon is outside the approach ellipsoid on a 24-hour safe free drift trajectory. One delta we have is since physical step was five minutes delayed. The cupola constraint for shutters will end at 1855, and the lab window constraint will end at 1900. Houston copies on two. And just to clarify, we don't touch the lab uh, wharf shutter, correct? That is affirmative. Okay, just want to be sure what the constraint meant to us. Copy. Uh, we also just wanted to say thank you so much for the hard work you've put in over the past 37 days. Uh, from all the unpacking and science and getting this thing buttoned up to send back home, there have been quite a few long days, and Houston, Hawthorne, and the science teams around the world are very appreciative of that. Congratulations on the completion of this incredible mission. I'm, uh, I'm first to the mic, but uh, it, was, uh, it was a pleasure, an honor, and uh, a little bit frenetic, but that's part of uh, a lot of the science that makes spaceflight wonderful. So it was really great to see all the great science. And especially actually to uh, talk to the guiders and the payload developers and some of the investigators to share uh, some of that excitement with them. It was great being in their hands up here, and uh, we really appreciated the opportunity. Go Dragon. You see copies all, and go Dragon. All right, so the Dragon spacecraft has moved outside of the approach ellipsoid, and the crew aboard the International Space Station uh, has uh, heard the news and agreed and shared their happy words uh, to conclude what we've been doing. Uh, we kicked off today uh, looking at the weather, and with a go from the weather after watching it all weekend, uh, we also received a go from Mission Control Hawthorne and Mission Control Houston uh, here in the International Space Station's flight control room to proceed for an undocking. The undock command was sent. The umbilicals were retracted, bringing the spacecraft to internal battery power. Then two sets of hooks were released. The first set uh, opened nominally, uh, committing us to the operation of undocking. The second set of hooks opened up as well, allowing the spacecraft to uh, not be attached to the International Space Station anymore. And in rapid succession, we saw the undock the first of the two undock burns uh, lasting just over a second, the second undock burn lasting about five seconds, both proceeding nominally. Then the spacecraft moved to its uh, departure burns. It completed two successfully. And after that second undock burn, undocked from the International Space Station at 12.10 Central Time, 1.10 Eastern, as the International Space Station was flying over North Bangkok, Thailand. The undocking of this spacecraft kicks off a series of planned events for the International Space Station. Looking ahead, astronauts will get into their Crew Dragon spacecraft, undock and dock again in a different parking spot. This is called a port relocation, and it allows us to make way for two more NASA astronauts, Sonny Williams and Butch Wilmore, supporting NASA's Boeing Crew flight test mission, scheduled to launch on May 6th. The port relocation takes place Thursday, May 2nd, and has the crew moving the Crew Dragon from the Harmony Forward Port to the Harmony Zenith Port, where this cargo spacecraft that we just watched today just departed from. The Dragon spacecraft, we're getting our final views here on the screen, and it's just that white dot um, center, and just slightly below, it is now approaching uh, 1,900 meters away from the International Space Station. It has moved outside of the keep-out sphere and outside of the approach ellipsoid, these two uh, major milestones that we're looking at, and joint coverage between um, the International Space Station's flight control room and Mission Control Hawthorne um, has concluded, so now the SpaceX team um, has their eyes on the spacecraft and is going to continue watching it through its future, through its other milestones. It's got a couple of more burns coming up, leading to an eventual splashdown on April 30th. 
um, around midnight central time or 1 a.m. Eastern off the coast of Florida. That concludes our coverage today. Thank you so much for watching. This is Mission Control Houston.